Hey viewers, welcome back to Homeworld 2. We won! Wow, um, this game. Ah. Uh, you know, it's like so many other things, right? When you're finished, you look back with the nostalgia goggles and having to play around with Sajuk and hyperspacing around. Thank god I noticed that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, what it, I say it's a bad game, not necessarily. Would I say it was as good as Homeworld 1 or Cataclysm? Uh, there were just some mechanics I had issues with, chiefly being forced to jump out at the end of each level. Uh, I'm a big fan of going against the grain. There's a couple missions in Homeworld and Cataclysm where it goes, whatever you do, don't, don't fight the enemy. And I end up, because of being terrible, invariably fighting them and usually pulling out a win. But I don't get to do that here. And obviously, in the first mission, when the mothership is discovered and you have no defenses, that makes sense. But how else am I supposed to recover all these resources without killing the enemy? Um, the story retconned a lot of stuff in Homeworld, but hey, that's storytelling for you. That'll happen in comics and novels and movies. What are you going to do? But the Destroyer was really fun to play with. That was neat. Um, as was Sujuk, although... I kind of wish you'd gotten to play with the Sajuk in more than one level, especially considering you couldn't really use it against... Well, I did toast a couple of frigates pretty quickly, but I had to use it against those orbital planetary destroyer things. And what was up with the one guy's voice? Because it clearly wasn't the usual fleet command when he went, bring Sajuk to bear, bring Sajuk to bear, and said it another five times. But the music was top-notch, since musicians are coming up now. And the Bentusi, I guess, are gone from the galaxy. Not all destroyed, I think, because a lot of them did warp out in Cataclysm. Although, then again, they don't really confirm or deny Cataclysm in this game. They just kind of will ignore it. Hey, BC, go Canada. Anyhow. And I do have some really good news, is that as of this video, that might change, uh, Gearbox Software acquired the whole more license, and there was another game being put into production, um, called Shipwreckers or Shipbreakers by the guys that made Homeworld. And Gearbox, in their very smart wisdom, decided to give the Homeworld license back to those guys so we have a prequel to Homeworld coming. And we also have Homeworld 1 and 2 being re-released in HD, which makes you wonder if maybe these LPs here were a year or so early. But you know, if I remember, I might well, I will probably buy the whole world's re-releases just to support the franchise, because I really think it is underrepresented and doesn't get as much credit as it should. But I will probably, if I remember again, show a couple quick videos from the HD versions and just see what those look like. You know, all the new crafts and all the visual effects redone. But ultimately, thank you, Homeworld team. I'm glad it got a sequel. I'm glad the franchise is, is back in the designer's hands, and I have really high hopes. You know, it's just you don't see things like that that happen very often in the gaming industry. Dust Wars crew, yep. Yeah, and a special thanks to everybody that helped make the game. I enjoyed it. In the end, I enjoyed it because it was more of the homeworld mythos, even if it had a couple issues. And it was very challenging, more so than homeworld one or cataclysm. I felt. Especially that last mission felt like, oh, craziness. And we're probably going to get punted back to the main menu fairly shortly, so viewers, thank you for watching and offering advice in some cases and just commenting on your thoughts on the game. I don't think there's a perfect game out there. This one certainly has some flaws, especially compared to one in Cataclysm, but you know, I enjoyed playing it, and I enjoyed beating it for the first time. I, again, only got about... Four, four to six missions in, and decided to finish it off. And here we are, back at the main menu. So hopefully, you guys will stick around for the next Let's Play, and if not, well, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thanks again for watching, and take care.